Welcome to your CaptureU tutorial. This session is on how to use CaptureU Desktop. CaptureU Desktop has two main functions. The first is to review and download data that has been captured directly to each Vicon Blue Trident sensor, and the second is to manage the sensor. To begin using CaptureU Desktop, please cradle your Vicon Blue Trident sensors. When complete, you will see all trials populate within the list of trials to download, sorted by capture date in either descending or ascending order. Each trial will display its name, session, details about date collected and trial duration, as well as the sensors that were used during the capture of that trial. If the sensor appears colored, it signifies that the sensor is currently connected. If it is gray, it signifies that the sensor was used in capture but is currently not connected to the PC. We can also verify this quickly by looking at the Sensors tab. Plugging in the second sensor will now update this list and navigating back to the Trials list will reflect this. To download data from a trial, click on it. This opens a preview of the trial with the y-axis displaying the resultant accelerations from each sensor and the x-axis displaying time. Just note that this time refers to the time of day when the data was captured and the scale is dependent on the duration of the trial. Above the graph, we can see the date and time, and since the trial was only 11 seconds long, the scale is every second. Above this, we see the session and trial name which was specified within the app. When downloading, the trial is saved in a new folder with the session name, so you can edit these fields if you wish to have a different folder hierarchy or file name. To the right of the graph, we have the option of cropping the trial so that we only download a customizable region. Click Crop and then draw a box around the region of interest. When finished, click Apply. Note that you are not deleting any data outside of the crop and you can reset the region by clicking Crop and then Clear. At the bottom, there is the option to add in notes. These are different to the notes added within the CaptureU app and will get exported as a text file within the session folder. The last field to specify is the data path. Click on Save To and select your desired folder. Please note that this user slash CaptureU is the default folder location, so I will keep this and just select the folder. The last remaining options on this screen are to either navigate back to the trial screen through the previous button or download this trial data via the download button. After clicking download, we will be brought back to the trials list and we'll see the download status of each sensor. The check marks indicate that both sensors were successful and if we open the Windows folder, we will see the session folder uh, with all of the trials inside of it. For each file, the trial name will appear first then the date of collection, the sensor serial number, followed by the axes included within the file. High G contains the data from the high G accelerometer, low G contains the low G accelerometer and the gyroscope. Lastly, the mag file contains the magnetometer data which was separated because it only collected at 100 Hz. We can also see the notes file in this folder which was exported as a text file. If you had only plugged in one of the sensors, we would see a warning appear that not all sensors are present for the trial. After clicking download and returning to the trial list screen, we are warned that the trial was only partially downloaded. We can also see the status of the sensor is disconnected. We can now plug the other sensor in and restart the download process. As shown earlier, the sensor tab displays all of the sensors that are currently connected to the PC. They are separated by serial number and then display information about the amount of available storage, the remaining battery life, and provide the ability to erase all data from the sensor. Clicking on the drop down menu will give additional information about the sessions and the current firmware. Down below on the bottom left, clicking on the FAQs link will take you to the Vicon FAQs website. Should you wish to erase data from your sensor, Click on Erase Data, and then it will ask you to confirm whether you want to erase the data from the sensor. Click Erase, 
and you will now see that there is no more data available on this sensor. Had the sensor displayed less than 100% storage prior to erasing, this would now return back to 100% after erasing. The final tab within Capture U Desktop is the Help tab. It contains four main options. Clicking on Guides takes you to the documentation page located at docs.vicon.com. Clicking on FAQs will take you to the FAQ section of our website. And finally, clicking on Support will take you to the Support page on our website. Please note that you must be connected to the network in order for these links to work. The final choice is to start a walkthrough. This is an interactive guide that will walk you through the process of how to download data from your sensor. So if I click Start Walkthrough, it'll tell me to go to my trial list, click Next Step, it'll tell me to select a trial, change the, the download path if I like, crop if I choose to, and then go ahead and download the data. Finally, I can go back to my sensors and, and manage them, perhaps erasing some of the data. So this is a nice way of reviewing and refreshing the workflow within the software. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com. Please also feel free to check out the links below for additional documentation and videos.